उदार पानी रमरात तथा गोवर्धन गोवर्धन विच इज लिफ्टेड बाय उदार पानी मीन्स बाय द लोटस हैंड ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज हायर देन वृंदावन वृंदावन कृष्ण हैज इज लोड स्पीच एवरी प्लेस बट गोवर्धन वॉज लिफ्टेड बाय द लोटस हैंड ऑफ कृष्ण there are other reasons but this is the one reason i am giving is that govardhan is higher than vrindavan oh, no. radha kundam ihapi gokul pate prema amrita palavana higher than gokul is radha kund where gokul pate have very then there be as extra very past times and which is overflowing with the love of krishna and krishna so these are the four hierarchy and then kuryad asya kuryad asya kuryad is with that bhajan asya virajato giri tate who will not uh, Stay at the lotus feet of Govardhan, at the bank of Radha Kund. Giri Tate Sevam, and he will render service there. Viveki, one who is really discriminative and intelligent. Naka, who is that? Will not do that. So it means every but must not select that place for bhajan. So now I am reading the translation. The holy place known as Mathura is spiritually superior to Vaikunt, the transcendental world, because the Lord appeared there. Vaikunta Janito Vara Madhupari. Superior to Mathura Puri is the transcendental forest of Vrindavan. <coughs> Vrinda Arne Arne means forest. Vrinda means Tulsi. The forest of Tulsi Devi. Superior to the Mathura Puri is the transcendent forest of Vrindavan, because of uh, Krishna's la, Ras Lila pastimes. Tatra Pirasot Savat Vrindavan Udara Pani Ramana. And superior to the forest of Vrindavan is Govardhan Hill, for it was. raised by the divine hand of sri krishna and was the site of his various loving pastimes ramana tatra pigo vardhana and above all the super excellent shri radha kund stands supreme for it is over flooded with the embroidered nectar and prem of Lord of Gokul, Sri Krishna, Radha Kund Bihya Pigokul Pate Preman Prema Amrita Palavana. Where then, Kuriyad, is that intelligent person Viveki? Ka who is unwilling na to serve Seva, this divine Radha Kund, which is situated at the foot of Govardhan Hill. मटेरियल वर्ल्ड One fourth is material world, not our only one. Total, unlimited universe is comprises material world, which is one fourth. Three fourth is the spiritual world. I think Chila Prabhupada's purport is start by this one line. What is the first line in Prabhupada's purport? 
Spiritual world is three fourth, material world is one fourth. Three pada vibhuti. That is called three pada vibhuti. If somebody you have to tell to the ordinary people that three fourth is a spiritual world and one fourth is a material world, how can you convince them? I usually ask one question. Are many people in the prison or outside? Outside. People in prison are more and outside more. Outside. So material world is compared to the prison. So in the prison are less people than the people who are liberated outside. So in spiritual world three fourths where liberated people live. The conditioned people live in a material world. So material world is like a prison. So prison has less people than the very simple. simple statement for people to understand. They will be happy that they are living in a way country, but they are not living in a way country. So they will at least understand what it means. Then three fourth is the spiritual world. And that is the way country planets. The word Janito means where Krishna took birth. The spiritual world is three-fourth part of the complete creation. Actually, the word creation is not appropriate for a spiritual world because the spiritual world is not created, it is eternal. It is eternal, it is not created. And the higher than that, Janito. Janito means where Krishna took birth is Matra. Appearance of Supreme Personality of God here, although appearing in a material world, considered superior to the spiritual world. This is very interesting. One line. Though Matra is in the material world, but it is superior to the spiritual world. Why? Because Krishna appeared here. The 84 crosa, which is double square miles. land on the earth is Chinta Mani Dham. This whole bridge mandal, 84 crores, which means double miles, is Chinta Mani Dham. Divya Chinta Mani Dham. Vrindavan Ramayastan Divya Chinta Mani Dham. This is divine. Uh, a splendid spiritual world descending on the earth. Sri Prabhupada used to call it, it's not part of the Uttar Pradesh or geographical some land. It is a spiritual world descended along with Krishna when he appeared. And then Srila Prabhupada used to say when the king goes from one country to other country, he goes with his entourage and wherever he stay, that place is considered his kingdom. So Krishna when he comes, he brings his Golok with him. So it is the replica of Golok. It's like an embassy of a spiritual world. The, this Vrindavan is the embassy of Golok Vrindavan. The room, the this uh, is not under the jurisdiction of the Yamaraj. It's directly under the jurisdiction of Krishna. So this whole Matra Mandal is a spiritual Chinta Mani Dham.
we can't see Chintamani Dham as such. Because the Yoga Maya has covered the Chintamani Dham from the materialistic eyes. We can't see. Vrindavan, everything is touch stone, every tree is a desire fulfilling tree. Great saintly persons, they are living in the form of tree here and relishing Krishna's pastime. Is a Nitya Leela going on here? Because Krishna is appearing regularly. Like the ambassador goes from embassy, but the embassy stays there. So, higher than Janito is Rasa Utsava. Vrindavan. And there it says Ras Leela and various pastimes by the Lord in twelve forests. Prabhupada is written twelve forests. There is higher than Mathura. Because there is no Ras Leela in Mathura. Ras Leela is in Vrindavan. But this Ras Leela which is in Vrindavan is called Maharas or Panchayati Ras. Panchayati Ras means all groups of gopis were taking part in that Ras dance. So what are the different groups of the gopis? <laughs> At least when you start uh, nectar of devotion, even the first line, Mangala Chan, is uh, giving the information, Akhila Rasamurti, Krishna is Akhila Rasamurti, and there are three names of the gopis. Shama. Shama. Lalita, Palika, and then Radha. There are four names there. So that is the beginning, even Mangala churn, there are groups of gopi giving. So generally there are two major groups of gopis. One is called leftist gopis, and Radha Rani is the prime personality and the leaders are Lalitas and Mishaka. That is a leftist group. And their philosophy is Krishna is ours. Krishna is mine. Krishna is ours. Then there are righteous gopi and the head of that group is Chandravali. And their philosophy is we belong to Krishna. Then there are gopis which are tattist, means neutral. And then there are gopis more near to the Radha's group. And then there are gopis which are near, more near to Chandravali's group. So in this way there are five groups. So in Vrindavan Rasila, all five groups were there. So Radha Rani was not happy. So she left the Raj. But Govardhan's place, where the Chandravali is deceived by Radha Rani's assistant gopis, and she, will, she is directed to the place called Sakhi Istali. So 
So she is not coming there at Govardhan. So Radha Rani is having more, more personal pastime at Govardhan than Vrindavan. And Chandravali's place is Sakhi Stavi, where Raguna, uh, Raguna Das Goswami used to pay obeisance from a difference. He never went there. He said, I don't want to go there, Sakhi Stavi. The Chandravali's place. Even somebody brought a big leaf cup, say, from where you got it, said, uh, Sakhi Stavi is you, I don't want to use this. This is their mood. So Sakhi Istri is somewhere on the Govardhan Parikrama, some place there is a Sakhi Istri. Behind Kushrikalota. Behind Kushrikalota. Behind Kushrikalota. We have to travel a And then Govardhan, what is written here? It was raised by the divine hand of Sri Krishna, number one. Number two, Krishna had Krishna tend cows with his coward friends there also. Would meet Srimati Radha there, be engaged with loving pastimes with her. But in a Govardhan, friend also goes to herd cows. Parents might come sometime also. Therefore, Prema Amrita Plavat Radha Kuni. Pure love of Krishna is aroused. There is the place where no friend is allowed, no opposite group of gopis is allowed, no parent goes there. It is only Krishna and Radha's Sakis and their punjas there. Nobody else can go there. So this is the most intimate pastime place is Radha Kund. Is it okay? These are the twelve forests of Vrindavan. There are some forests, uh, they are Balram's forest and they are four. Bhadra one, sorry, Bhandir one, Bahula one, Bhadra one or Bil one. Krishna's forest are Kumud one, Kamya one, Khadir one. Mahavan, Madhuvan, they belong to Mayapur. Mayapur. Is it written here? I don't know. Let's see. Vrindavan. Is it? Vrindavan. Then Talvan. Then Luhavan. The different forest, twelve forest of Vrindavan. I don't know much about this, but <laughs> this says these are the twelve rasas, which are in these twelve forests. Shantaras, Dasyaras, Sakyaras, Vatsalyaras and Madhuriras, they are called five Isthai Bhav, permanent mellows. Then seven secondary mellows. The seven secondary mellows, they make the five mellows more relishable. And they are Vibhastha ras, bhayanak ras, raudra bhakti ras, karuna bhakti ras, veer bhakti ras, adbhut bhakti ras, hasya bhakti ras. I 
started reading, this is here in this book. What uh, Stan Sanders that Tarko writes about these Far East. text 9, this is written like that. I'm, I'm reading the important part of the purport. The spiritual world is threefold of the total creation of the Supreme Personality of Lord, Godhead and it's the most exalted region. The spiritual world is naturally superior to the material world, however. Mathura and adjoining areas, although appearing in material world, are considered superior to the spiritual world because Supreme Personality of Godhead himself appeared at Mathura. The interior forest of Vrindavan are considered superior to Mathura. These are the twelve forests. Dwadash Vana, such as Talvan, Madhuvan, Bahulavan, which are famous for the various pastimes of the Lord. Thus, the interior Vrindavan forest is considered superior to Mathura. But superior to these forests is the divine Govardhan Hill. Because Krishna lifted Govardhan Hill like an umbrella, raising it with his lotus like beautiful hand to protect his associates, the dungeons of the bridge, from the torrential rain sent by the angry Indra, the king of demigods. It is also at Govardhan Hill that Krishna tends the cows with his coward friends. And there also he had his then Devyas with his most beloved Sri Radha and engaged in loving pastime with her. Radha Kund at the foot of Govardhan is superior to all because it is there that love of Krishna overflows. Advanced devotees prefer to reside at Radha Kund because this place is the site for many memories of eternal loving affairs between Krishna and Radharani, Rati Vilas. And Chaitanya Chaita Mirtha Madhya Leela stated that when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first visited the area of Abhirja Bhumi, he could not at first find the location of Radha Kund. This means that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was actually searching for exact location of Radha Kund. Finally, he found the holy spot and there was a small pond there. He took his bath in that small pond and told his devotees that actual Radha Kund was situated here. Later, the pond was excavated by Chaitanya's devotees, headed first by the Sri Six Goswamis, such as Rupa Raghunath Das. Presently, there is a large lake known as Radha Kund there. Srila Rupa Goswami has given much stress to Radha Kund. Why? Because of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire to find it, number one. Who then would give up Radha Kund and try to reside elsewhere? No person with transcendent intelligence will do so. The importance of Radha Kund, however, cannot be realized by other Vaishnava Sampradayas. Nor can person uninterested in the devotional service of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understand the spiritual importance and divine nature of Radha Kund. Thus Radha Kund is mainly worshipped by Gauriya Vaishnava. 
the follower of our Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is the end, right? Yes. Now, I am asking you question whether you have catch the sense. Mathura is spiritually superior to material world. Vrindavan, Vaikuntha, all of the above. Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha. Vrindavan forest is considered superior to Mathura. It is more beautiful. It has 12 pastime forests of Krishna there. As many advanced devotees live there, all of above. 12 pastime forests. Govardhan is superior to Vrindavan because Krishna lifted it. Krishna tamed cows with his coward voice. There are Krishna had his rendezvous with all most beloved Radha, engaged in loving. All of them. Radha comes superior to all because advanced devotees prefer to reside there. It is there that love of Krishna overflows. Inside of Radha Krishna's many eternal affairs, other Vaishnava Sampradaya cannot realize its importance. Love overflows. Radha Kun is mainly worshipped by very advanced devotees. People with transcendent intelligence. Gauriya Vaishnava follower of Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. None of you. Gauriya Vaishnava. Okay, Srila Prabhupada says something very subtle. Deep in text 9. What is that? Perfect. He says advanced devotees prefer to reside at Radha Kund because this place is the site of many memories of eternal loving affairs between Krishna and Radha and Rati Vilas. Why does he say this place is the site of many memories? Why he say like that? Of the eternal loving affairs between Krishna and Radharani, Rati Vilas. Why doesn't he just say this place is site of eternal loving affairs between Radha and Krishna? Why memories? And the big question is whose memories he is talking about? Srila Prabhupada is referring to the memories of exalted Gaudiya Vaishnavas who lived and served eternally lived at Radha Kunda. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, Srila Jiva Goswami, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur and we know how those memories by names like Istavali, Istavavali, Gopal Champu, Sri Govind, Lila, Krishna Bhavna these are the books written there. These are the books written at that place. In text 8, Parapar, Srila Prabhupada quotes Srila Rupa Goswami is saying, by following in the footsteps of such associates and by entering under their eternal guidance, one can acquire an intense desire to serve the Supreme Personality of God. Srila Prabhupada's memories statement in text 9, Parapar should be seen in light of this statement. It means we should follow these six Goswamis and their books. Srila Rupa Goswami really catch the core essence of what he is saying. So memories of the Goswami who they are serving right now is still at Radha Kund. Raghunanda Goswami has his Samadhi there. Jiva Goswami is Vajra Kuti. Krishna Das Gavit Goswami there, they all were there. Now, huh? Or the books, not written there, the books of these Acharyas. Their name, Istavavali, Istavavali, Istavavali may be Agamunad Goswami. Gopal Champu is Jiva Goswami. Govind Dila Murthy is Krishna Das Kaviraj. And Krishna Bhavana Amrit, maybe Vishwanath Chakrabarti, I don't know. Now I am going to what we were reading, I am going to that part.
वट आर फॉलोज आर एक्सेप्ट फ्रॉम दी ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा लेक्चर ओके कंसेप्शन ऑफ नारायण there is no existence of progenitor or progenitrix since he is unborn it means mathura oh, we could there is no mother and father for narayan yet when that unborn appears lord appears as the son of devaki and vasudev in mathura he performs past time of taking birth the lord of vekund is unborn but since that unborn lord due to his inconceivable potency manifests his past time of taking birth his position as a supreme lord becomes more glorious therefore matra is superior to vaikuntha lord krishna also appears in a pure mind of devotee that pure mind also becomes matra many people consider matra a mythical place like one described in fairy tale such a conclusion denies krishna's inconceivable potency thereby matra appears along with krishna in this material world matra appears along with krishna vrindavan where krishna enjoys ras leela is superior to matra where krishna took birth shreeman ras rasaram me bansi vatat tata stita karshan veno swainair gopi gopinath shriyastu na so this is the words quoted then shila ah ah shila shri ah shri gopinath who organized the transfer mellow of the rasa dance is stand on the shore in vrindavan and with of oh, n with sound of his celebrated flute attracts the attention of the coward dancers may they come for upon us their benediction in mathura krishna enjoys his past time as an immature boy in ras mandal he is mature youth krishna enjoys ras with his different categories of gopi friends when radha arrived and saw that the special characteristic of her service could not be exhibited in ras leela with so many type of gopis she left the ras area and went to govardhan chandravali also arrived at govardhan shri radha became dismayed when she saw shri krishna at govardhan sitting in a cave with chandravali after tactfully deceiving chandravali's messenger shabya radha's gopi tulsi danishta and other sent chandravali to sakhi stan there is why shri raghunath das goswami prabhu pad who was a staunch follower of shri rupa goswami offered dandwat to sakhi stan from a distance After receiving Chandravali, Sri Radha's follower brought Shyam Sundar to Radha Kun. Sri Govardhan, where Sri Radha Krishna's most confidential immortal must pass time take place, is superior to Vrindavan. In the Govardhan Ashraya Dashakam, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami writes. who will not take shelter of govardhan hill where the divine couple in a couple enjoy their past time of a rescue fee rescue fee means dan keli dan keli krishna was asking the tax from the gopis below which is situated manas ganga the lake on which the captain madhav took sweet beautiful radha in his boat there is a 
नौ नौ का विहार ए बोट फेस्टिवल इन मानस गंगा एवरी डे कृष्ण इन दिड डे टेक्स द गोपीज इन दर साइड दे आर गोइंग टू सेल देर मिल्क प्रोडक्ट एंड इन दिल देर इज देन वेन बींग फ्राइटन बाय द ग्रेट स्ट्रॉन्ग शी प्रेड दैट he comes it krishna should come this storm he claimed from her as a toll the fulfillment of his amorous desires so this is the past time at manas ganga which is the beginning of the govardhan parikrama take bath at manasi ganga then start govardhan parikrama this is the standard method radha kun is superior to govardhan because it is fully flooded with the nectarian love of lord krishna shri rupa who understood chetana mahaprabhu's concealed intention instructed that oh instructed that service to radha kund the highest object of sri chet gaurhari's internal mood is ultimate goal of all service shri radha kund is totally incomprehensible and unattainable by followers of nimbark other vaishnava sampraday follower of any sampraday under chandravali's guidance radha kund is not available for them our so called follower of madhurya ras who are devoid of devotion to gaurav therefore shri raghunath das goswami wrote in his shri radha kund ashtakam may very dear and fragrant radha kund which is which for one who bathes here and immediately creates in the land of heart a desire tree of pure love rarely found even among the gopis beloved to lord krishna in braj be my shelter it means the other gopis have no entrance at radha kund Other gopis have no entrance at Radha Kund. His phone rang. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the same group, probably. even the other group. Yeah, they can go. They can go. Yeah. Only Radha Kund. This is uh, sorted in alphabetical order. So I am coming to the forest. Anath, uh, 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 Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj writes about this. Uh, whenever last lila was performed, or oh, it, it says, ras arises in the pure mind from the mixing of four elements, or oh, ras. No ras and ras. He is speaking of ras. You know ras, Bhakti ras Amrit Sindhu. So ras means mellow. How ras arises? It is here. You wipe this out. There is something to wipe. No, we have to find out something. There must be. We have become too advanced, actually. All system is outdated. <laughs> Now you write in the middle is Thai Bhav. is a is a e a s t a h i find here word this is this s t h i y i y i y i just i b h a v a sorry it's thai rag atmi ka has to go Uh, put the hyphen above the A. Ista and the other A also. Ah, uh, it's Thai bar. Now you have a arrow from four side on this and write these four four words. It says V bar. This is a say here is V bar V I B H. Here. 
Yeah, one arrow goes to his thigh bar. No? Here, here. It's like, like it's thigh in the middle. And then you write V bhav. This is V bhav. And arrow goes to his thigh bar. Then you write the anubhav. Arrow goes to the thigh bar. So four arrow goes to the thigh bar. Huh? If I get up, somebody else goes? I can... I can make you with a pen. Give me pen. Let me show you what to do. Oh, this is these are vibhav, anubhav, satvik bhav, sanchari, vibhichari bhav. Okay. All goes into that This should be this, 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 this. Okay. Like. For rust to be produced, like you want the juice, then you need the fruit. The one, first is the fruit most important, or a juicer is important. Then you need other, other elements to cut this, that, then the juice is formed. So for making juice you need a person, you need a fruit. So first you need a fruit, then you need other things to make a juice. So it's thai bhav. And there are five thai bhav. What are the five thai bhav? What are the five thai bhav? Shanta dasya sakha vatsalya madhu. When they are when they are stimulated by, when they are stimulated by, vibhav is a stimulant. Vibhav means stimulant. Then anubhav means voluntary reaction. Then sattvic bhav means involuntary reaction. And Vibhichari are 33 different type of transentry emotions. When they all mix together, then Ras is formed. We have to write a arrow down which says Ras. So the Ras is found by mixing of the five together. When it's Thai Bhav has four other Bhavs acting on that, then Ras is formed. Say, Mother Yashoda is a Stai Bhav. Vibhav is, she shoes the, she sees the shoes of Krishna. And she, she, she is something belonging to Krishna. This is a stimulant for her. Udipan. Udip, this is called, there are the two words, Alampan, Udipan. Alampan and Udipan are the two parts of the Vibhav. We have the two divisions, but anyway, this is the advanced nectar of devotion. The advanced nectar of devotion. So, vibhav is a udipan. Udipan means which arises the bhav, and alam means which is the which is the cause for the bhav. So then, what she do? She voluntarily goes out, whether Krishna is outside, and then she sees somehow some cow coming. And then she, she, she just climbs up and want to see Krishna coming. That is Anubhav. She runs out. <coughs> she, as she laughs, she sees Krishna something and smiles. Anubhav. Sattvic Bhav, sometime she may tremble to see some situation of oh, Krishna in the, the coil of Kaliya. She has some involuntary motions. That's called Sattvic Bhav. And then Sanchari Bhav, 
there are different type of 33 sanchari bhav, fear, falling down and so many other things which are transitory. But they make the ras or melo. Prabhuji, Sanchari and Vyavichari are the same? Same. Sanchari and Vyavichari are the same. The Sattvika Bhava is the Sanchari, the ecstasy of Mahaprabhu also manifests. Yeah, Sattvika Bhava is Ashta Sattvik. They ate Sattvik Bhava. That's called in one, elvantry, laughing, trembling, choking, choking, falling down, crying, yeah. Yeah, dancing, all this is tied up. That, that's Sattvic Bhava. Now, uh, uh, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati writes, Brahmi ve dvadasa pane rasakeli jeje sthane This is what Prabhupada has taken from here. Brahmi ve means I will wander in. Dvadas kanan in twelve forests. Rasakeli Jeje Stani, where Krishna has passed times. When will I wander throughout the twelve forests of Virja to all the places of nectar and pastime? Sri Gaur Sundar said, Anyera Hirdai Mana Mora Anyera Hirdai Mana Mora Mana Brindavana. For others, the mind and the heart are one. Yet, because my mind is never separated from Vrindavan, I consider my mind and Vrindavan one. Ras arises in pure mind. Ras. Ras arises in pure mind. From mixing of the four elements. Vibhav, Anubhav, Sattvic Bhav, Vivichari Bhav, with Sthai Bhav Rati. Krishna, the very form of the Ras, Rasaraj is completely satisfied when the five major rasas Shanta, Dasya, Sakha, Vatsalya and Madhuri nourished by seven secondary rasas seven secondary rasas striking the method of contemplation manifest in a most amazing deep form within the heart blazing with sattva such heart called the forest is a receptacle receptacle of and serves as the support for twelve rasas wherever ras leela was performed was a, has become smeared with the rasa and flooded with prime prem if a particle of any other desire out occults like a dam, the current of rasa, the fountain of rasa cannot properly flow. The description and detail of the appearance of the material rasa and the unconscious receptor, this Prabhupada is saying, Bhaktisiddhan is saying, material rasas have no place in Vrindavan. This twelve forest is place of Krishna's twelve rasas. That's the meaning here. The subject of Ras is the twelve forest and is Krishna. The subject of the Ras is in the twelve forest is Krishna. Krishna is the subject of Ras in twelve forest. Supreme Absolute Truth, the form of all Ras, is the only subject of genuine Ras. The subject of the five Ras, Shant, Das, Vatsalya, Sakha, Madhurya, is the only Sri Virjandra Nandan. At the feet of each Virjabasi and supplicate him. Virjabasi, know Krishna because at every moment uninterruptedly they serve him in pure love. The cows, the calves, cows and calves serve Krishna. Being twice for satisfying Krishna's senses, they increase his pleasure. They are the play dolls of his milking pastime. Chitrak, Patrak, Raktak, Bakul and other servants serve Krishna, his cows and his mother and father. They wash Krishna's feet with his spiritual water of Yamuna, a liquid form of Brahma. When Krishna returns 
from pasturing. All his limbs are covered with virgin dust. At that time his servant washed him with Yamuna water. What do Krishna's cow know? They are actually very great sages. Those who, after many births of austerity and reading the Vedas, desire service to Lord, become cows in virtue. They learn to serve Krishna by giving milk. They were not the so-called sages who study Vedanta. To attend Vrjabhas, one must be subservient to Vrjabhasi. Sri Rupa Goswami Prabhu says, Tannam Rupa Charitadi is reading this. Vrjabhasi means the servant of Hari, possess of a spiritual understanding, not an enjoyer of material objects, who is averse to serving him. If I am not servient son to Chitrak, Patrak or Bakul, the third name, Chitrak, Patrak and Bakul, Yesterday you asked what they are doing, now here there is more description. If I am not a follower of Krishna, if I am now a material enjoyer, if I am subservient to the object of eyes and ears, then I do not live in Virgin and do not have acquired love. I am enjoying the object. is giving me pleasure. That is called material enjoyment, opposite to service of Krishna. If I do not have love for such shelter of Dasya Ras as Chitra, Raktak and Patra, shelter of the Sakya Ras such as Sri Dhamma, Sudama, shelter of Vatra, Vatsalya Ras, Nanda, Jashoda, shelter of Madhurya Ras, Rupa, Manjari and others, then how can there be Virjabhas? All of them are Nitya Siddha Virjabhasis. I will inquire from every Brajabasi. One should ask about particular rasa from one who possesses it. If I ask about Madhurya Rasa, then you should take me to Brajabasi who exemplifies Madhurya Rasa. If you ask about it from those who have no associate, not associated with Lalita and Vishakha, or who have not met Sri Rupa Manjari, they may start talking about Ras of Ravan stealing Sita or of Nal and Damyanti. We cannot attend Brjabasi, Brjabas without the mercy of Brjabasis. But why should they speak to us? How will we see them with material eyes? Because we are covered with the pride and envy. They will not listen to what we say because we have no attachment to the them. They do not speak to us. Why would the Vrjabhasis engage in eternal spiritual pastime and speak to us? They say, you are searching for material pleasure. Has Krishna become material object for your pleasure? One cannot know about Vrj except through the subservience to the Srila Rupa Manjari and Sri Rati Manjari which means Ru Prabhunath. When we receive the mercy of Prabhu Nityananda, on that very day, we will understand the mercy of Sri Rupa Manjari and Sri Rati Manjari. Otherwise, Prakriti Kriya Mahanani Gunai Karmani Sarvasa. <laughs> best told, best told in this way, we will not comprehend the words Sarva Dharma and Paritaja. One encounter obstacle when approaching Krishna in a spirit of everness in serving Him, as a result of the previous sins, we worship many demigods. Oh, so it's a the long. Sakharas cannot put one in feet of Krishna, shoulder and falls. So this is a very lengthy, lengthy article. The whole idea which I started reading is this. These twelve forests are the place of pastime of Krishna and these are the name of the twelve forests and there are twelve rasas which all took place in all these forests. Why there is a M Mayapur? This is I think just for remembrance of these, uh, uh, these forests. This is yeah, it is just for remembrance of the 
nema bi farisa. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Radha Kun. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu only found out of it, found out the exact location of Radha Kun, and he took part there. The pond was expect, activated by Lord Chaitanya's devotees, Rupa Raghunath. Rupa Goswami has given much stress to Radha Kun because of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire to find it. Radha Kun is mainly worshipped by Gauriya Vaishnavas, the followers of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Here ends the purport to the verse now. Radha Kun. And this is the place of Sangam. You can see the glimpse of the Sham Kund also. In the place of Sangam. So, this is our ninth verse over. You have any question or comment? Have we read? I think we have read the whole purport. I don't yeah, have yeah, a book. We have read. It's, it's finished. Only Vrtibhasis are our Goswamis for us. Rest all Raksha pullers and businessmen. You have to keep relation with them like we keep the relation with monkeys. Not too near, not too away. Don't disrespect them and don't be closer to them. This is what Prabhupada gave instruction. We should not be too close to them and we should not disrespect them. Somehow Radharani has allowed them to be in Vrindavan. So we have we should not criticize them, but we should not closely associate with them. Because this is not this is not they are not Brajabasis. Krishna took all the Brajabasis with him. When Krishna, after killing Dandvakar, Dandvakar he killed nearby. And then he came here. And then he took all the Brajabasis back to Golok Vrindavan. Then he went from here to Dwarka. So no Brajabasi who came with Krishna is here. Only presently the Brajabasis who are here are the associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because they are the same Brajabasis, they came as the associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So for us the Brajabasis are Guru Prabhunath. And we have to follow them. Did you mention about five Sakhis, five groups of Sakhis which is headed by Kriya. These five groups are just now Priya Narva Sakhi, Prani Sakhi, Sadhana Sakhi, Tha Sakhi or Priya Sakhi. These are those five groups, right? There is a difference. There is a different among the uh, Radharani's group. There are special Sakhis. They are very dear to Krishna. They are intermediate. Krishna controls some. Some are friend to Krishna. Some control Krishna. That is a different language. Not this one. Radharani controls Krishna. Krishna makes friendship with Lalita and he controls the Shamala and uh, the other one. Because this is the Bhakti Vinod Thakur mentions in his poem also and then Ujjwal Lila Mani also describes it. When you finish the nectar of devotion, then go to the Ujjwal Lila Mani. These things are there, but they should not be mixed and make a, uh, some cocktail. There are different sakis. Priya Naram sakis. They are like, like Radharani is topmost, then who is next to that, who is next to that, something like that. I don't know exactly the term. There is any difference between gopis and sakis? Yeah. Gopis are sakis, not all. When we say gopis, there are elderly gopis, they have a motherly, motherly affection for Krishna, they are also gopis. There are unmarried gopis, there are relative gopis. They cannot have Raslila with Krishna, they cannot have a marriage with Krishna. So they are relative gopis, say 
daughters of the Upananda and other. They are also gopis. Gopi means those who herd the cows and live in a coward village. The gopis have many meanings, but the sakhis means those young gopis which are girlfriends of Krishna. And mandiris are the less than eight years age young girls which assist the sakhis. They never want to meet Krishna personally. Manjari never ever wants to meet Krishna Pansi. They only assist the Sakis. And they relish more than Sakis because they can see everything. So they are more, so oh, generally speaking, our all Acharyas are Manjaris. So the whole Manjari bhav is in Gauri Is there any particular reason why Shamakund is not mentioned? Oh, the Shamakund. Uh, it has a different meaning. Radha Kund is a, something which is a place for pastime of Radha and Krishna. Very sacred place. Only Radha Krishna is her sak is nobody else. Sham Kund. There are two kunjas of the Shubal and uh, Madhu Mangal. There are only two sakas. They can intermingle with the gopis. I think uh, Shri Dhamma and Madhu Mangala or something. But they give their kunj to the gopis sometime to be used. But anyway, there's a whole description, Radha Kund, in which corner, which Sakhi's kunj is there. And there's a whole big description. Not lacking, it's a different mood. The mood in the eye belongs to Krishna, is a, a, a righteous mood. But Krishna likes more somebody who wants to fight with him. <laughs> so Radharan is in a different mood. And they both are cousin brothers. They saw Chandra Bhanu's daughter is Chandravali, Vishnu Bhanu's daughter is Radha. So they both are cousin sisters. But somehow they have a rivalry in Krishna's prem, simply to, in, uh, to increase Krishna's prem. All gopis are expansion of Radharani. Yes, everybody is actually, all gopis are expansion of Radharani. Just to increase the pleasure to Krishna. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna. Next verse, huh? To serve Radha Kund means how to serve Radha Kund. I think two more verses, the last verse is more focused on Radha Kund. And there's a lot of controversy about that verse also. Verse means our, our well, that verse is to take bath in uh, Radha Kund. And there's a lot of controversy within this con. So we'll discuss maybe next time. Now we, we have three classes and two verses to go. And one class is for just over uh, overview and revision. Is it okay? So to serve Radha Kund, the best thing is that those who lived at Radha Kund and whatever message they gave, gave us, we should follow them. Like Rupa Goswami and uh, like the Chaitanya Chaitamrita is written at the bank of Radha Kund. So by us reading Chaitanya Chaitamrita, we can serve Radha could better than by living there. There is more service to Radha could is what Radha could is giving us to relish. That will be the best service to Radha could. The otherwise, what we can do is we can go and some sweep something at the bank of Radha could and keep, keep keep it clean. That is only the thing which can which can do. Clean when you go there, take a broom, clean some place in Radha could, go down take dust and come back. What? All dust is by the lotus feet of gopis. Let it go where it wants to go. That dust which is at the depth of Radha Kund, that is a black tilak which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the way, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at that time took the 
pluck from that uh, pond and it was black because of the it was settled down he took that and then some people they still take that's called Radha Kun Tilak the black, black Tilak is Radha Kun Tilak is a mud coming from the depth of Radha Kun Hare Krishna so next is the hierarchy of devotees hierarchy of devotees means, means from the vikarmis to the karmis, to the jnanis, to the yogis, to the devotees and to the more deep devotees she said vaidis, vada sadhana devotees, rag sadhana devotees then the topmost are the gopis. That is the next verse. The hierarchy of the gopis. Hierarchy of the devotees. So I think it's enough for today. Hare Krishna. We've had sweet. The other ran away.